treacherous news interruptive program to bring you another important message. A Los Santos convict has escaped the Blaine County Prison, killing three officers and injuring one in the process. He is currently heading straight for a jumbo passenger jet within the Los Santos International Airport. Come on, come on! You never take me alive, pigs! Not this time! I ain't going back to jail! See you later, pigs! Better luck next time, eh? Alrighty, we should be in the clear. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! The engine's burning! Fail! Fail! Please move back! Oh, would you look at that? A shooting star! Well, it looks like I should make a wish. Oh my god, he's dead! If I could have anything in the world. What's happening? Me? I wish I could have superpowers. I would use them wisely. Use them as a massive responsibility to clear the streets of Los Santos and Boynton County. I would be Los Santos' self-protector, and I would bring San Andreas back to what it was 20 years ago. Back to the good times. The simple times, isn't that right, sir? You see, people are just so rude these days. Anyway, guess I should be getting home to see how the wife and kids are doing. Good night, Los Santos. That escalated quickly. Take care, darling. I won't spend too much. <laughs> ha! That's funny. Good morning, Los Santos. Hello there, miss. I am not carrying. Hey! To hell heaven! <laughs> Hello there, peeps. I've escaped the cops. I've escaped with minor injuries. I mean, one would have put it through the chest, but that doesn't really matter. Minor injuries on my car, but that doesn't seem to matter either. However, the injuries to the car is not only from police. I also tested the punch again. It seems that I now have explosive melee attacks. Good day, Consuela. Okay, then. So I spend the rest of the time at home, thinking. As to what's been happening. I, I just, I just don't know what's happening. I don't know if there's something wrong with me. Why this is this happening? Unless. Oh, would you look at that? A shooting star. Well, it looks like I should make a wish. Me? I wish I could have superpowers. No, 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 that's silly. That's silly time. Superpowers. What am I like, 12? Hello there, fellas. It's been a while. Normally, I like to sail out to sea when I have problems like this. I like to sail out to sea and write everything down that's got me stressed and figure everything out. Because it does work. It's nice and peaceful out in the sea. Just look at it. Alrighty, so last time you saw me, I blacked out due to me jumping and hitting the side of my house. That is correct. Yes, I did say jump. That is another one of my superpowers. I'll get into that in a bit. While I've been gone, I've learned that I've gained supernatural powers. From that shooting star. I'm not too sure what to think of this. Whether it's the holy work of God, if I'm the chosen one, or if I'm just a lucky bastard, I don't know. But I do know that I have been given these powers for a reason. I must take full responsibility with the amount of power I now possess. I will use these powers wisely and only to ensure safety and security within the state of San Andreas. I am now its sole protector. Over the past few days, I've also been practicing a few of my powers. Not only have I gained explosive melee attacks, I also have super jump, super speed, and I can fly! But unfortunately, I don't know how to land. <laughs> I've got what I wished for. I've been chosen by the holy hands of God to become a protector of Los Santos and all of its inhabitants. And I accept. Only one problem. 
the stress that comes with it. I've been having problems at home due to the stress. Fuck you! What the fuck? Unable to handle myself at times under the pressure of being relied on to protect millions of lives. So, after all this thinking over the past few days, I've come up with a conclusion. I need... A sidekick. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> We're having so much fun. Franklin, this is Michael. I'm gonna need you to come to my house as soon as possible. It's urgent. Something's come up. I'll explain later. Just get here as soon as you can. Yeah. Ah, Franklin! How the hell did you get in here? You know what? It doesn't matter you're here. Come and follow me. Alrighty, so... As you know, I have recently been chosen by the holy hands of God to possess supernatural powers to protect Los Santos and Blaine County. And as you also know, I have offered you the position as my sidekick for my superhero. A superhero that goes by the name of Lemon Man, and sidekick by the name of Sour Boy. Over the past few days I have been at work sketching costumes, logos, and signature cards for the two of us. These all help the people of Los Santos recognise us from a distance. Us two, Lemon Man and Sour Boy will be Los Santos' overwatch protector and our goals are to eradicate all crimes and those involved in those crimes and bring San Andreas back to what it was 20 years ago. Our costumes must meet the criteria of hiding our true identities for safety reasons, create fear as our enemies draw eyes on us and that when people see us they will recognise us as Lemon Man and Sour Boy. My costume will feature a very large, dark, black coat with yellow shaded sunglasses. Not only to hide my identity, but also so I look like a badass. Your costume style boy will feature a black tuxedo with a green wrestling mask. Your signature colour will be green and black, and mine yellow and black. Which will also be the same colour of our logo, Lemon Man. And also, the same colour as the Lemon Mobile, our signature vehicle. I have fitted custom vehicle parts to buff up the car and to fit our house style, such as yellow car tyre smoke. Franklin, our campaign of protecting San Andreas starts today. An epic journey to eliminate all crime within the state. I know the two of us will make an incredible team together. Now let us change it to our costumes and I shall meet you at a location in the limit bit. And do not, under any circumstances, buy yourself a cape. Because capes are fucking gay. Today, Franklin. Today is the day we start our campaign as superheroes. Hey, good to see you, man. It's good to see you too, Franklin. Right, let's start the day off by roaming, clearing the streets of Los Santos to ensure crime is at an all-time low. And once that's done, we can head our way into Blade. Ah! Well, uh, that wasn't the, uh, the greatest way to start off the day. But besides the nasty gash to the face, I'm fine. What we need to discuss now is what place we're going to strike at first. Here is a San Andreas map. I've been evaluating each area and deciding which place to go to first. I think it would be best to start from the south upwards, cleaning the streets of Los Santos. So our first stop is going to be Del Perro Beach. This area is lovely during the day, but at night is a different story. Here is where 87% of all drug deals are taking place within the state of San Andreas. This is pretty much a hotspot for all drugs and underage alcohol activity. Just look at them. It's disgusting. It is our duty to eradicate all illegal drugs, except for marijuana, from Los Santos. Oh, uh, I think they've spotted us. Asshole! Yeah, they've spotted us. Shit! One of them's coming this way! Look out! Oh, Good shooting, Sour Boy! Let's go and kill the rest of these bastards. Shows no affection. They wanna ban us on Capitol Hill. Cause it's die, motherfuckers die, 
all alone it was a ghetto Nothing but the ghetto Taking short steps one foot at a time And get my head low and never let go Cause if I let go then I'd be spineless I'm going insane That was some mighty fine work today, Franklin. Our first of many acts of justice in San Andreas. We make a good team, you and I. We've already made news headlines, and we've been recognized by all areas of San Andreas, including the LSPD. We've earned their trust. Everyone in the state now knows for our amazing- Bullshit. Hey! <laughs> None of that language, thank you very much. Everyone in the state now knows of our amazing work. That was a fantastic day's work. And this calls for a time of celebration, which is why tonight we are going to get fucked. She called me the referee, cause that be so official. She called me the referee, she called me the referee, she called me the referee, cause that be so official. One for me and my main man, Sourboy here. Yeah, that's it, Sourboy. It's us, Lemon Man, Sourboy. Oh. <clears throat> Enjoy yourself here, man. It's a time of celebration. Give me another round for me and Sourboy here. This one's out to all the bastards that we demolished today over at the beach. Cheers, Franklin. Ah, that's some good shit. Another one, another one. It's a special occasion. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm okay, I'm okay. Another one, another one. Come on, we ain't gonna stop this train now. Last one, okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, sure, whatever, just give me a fucking drink. Painting yet, boy, I'm still in my prime. Juliet, eh? I guess that could come in handy at some point. Right then, let's get back to work. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Oh yeah, no, it's just a plane. Uh, <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Wee! Wee! Oh. What about that? <laughs> it's Lemon Man! Godspeed, Lemon Man! Sack on that! Bastards, we are taking back Grove Street. No more gang violence. This ends now, motherfucker. We did it, Franklin. We did it. Oh, you killed a dog. Nice one, Franklin. Now everyone who watches this video hates you. Good job, guys. We did it. Oh, look out there, the silly loved one. All right, nice one. You guys got him. Good job. The balance have gone. All thanks to the cooperation of me, you, and the police force. I would call this a very successful day today, Franklin. We've earned even more respect from the police force. I'd say we're pretty damn good buddies with them now. All of the south of Los Santos has now cleared, Franklin. It's back to the way it was, and that's how it's gonna stay, now that we're in charge. This is progress, Franklin. Excellent work today. Do you know what I think this day deserves? A good old friendly game of golf. Ah! Perfect! -y. Suck on that, Franklin. Don't mind a bullet holes. They'll wear off in a sec. Come on, Perry. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Ah! Yes. Ha! Ha! Bed luck next time, Franklin. Come on. Let's get this one on the green. Yes. Hello, Lemon Man. This is Sergeant Randy from the LSPD. Me and on behalf of the Yellow PD are contacting you today in request of a favor. Now by all means, you do not have to complete this request. 
It's just a friendly request in the name of the LSPD. So for us, this sort of job will be incredibly difficult and cost. Ah! What, what? What was that? N nothing. Nothing. Carry on. Uh. Okay. As I was saying, you don't have to accept this under any means or circumstances. This is just a friendly request. Over in the mountains of Blaine County lays a cult separated from humanity. This is the Altruist Cult. Though dumb and harmless as they may seem at first due to their public nudity, these are dangerous fellows that we're dealing with here today. Members of towns and hikers surrounding Mount Chiliad have been captured, tortured and murdered and then eaten by this cult. These are sick bastards we're dealing with here. This is also a very large group we're dealing with here. They're supplied with heavy weaponry and a lot of ammo, so this job ain't gonna be easy. Which is why we're supplying you with the LSPD chopper, the buzzer, or the lemon copter as you wish to call it. The plan is to infiltrate the cults with the buzzer by surprise and eradicate all members of this cult so the streets of San Andreas are safe once again. Lemon Man. Are you and Salboy willing to complete this request? Well, Officer Randy, we were on our break, but uh, I guess there's no break in the life of Los Santos if you're a superhero, so sure we'll be up for it. Fantastic news! I report back to the main office. Stop by at any time by tomorrow to pick up the buzzard helicopter. God bless you, Lemon Man. You and Salboy are true heroes of San Andreas. Alrighty then, Franklin. It's time to get to work. This one is going to be our toughest crime yet. We'll finish this game of golf later. Right now, let's change back into our suits and head over to the police station. To the lemon mobile! Here we are, Franklin! The Los Santos Police Station. The buzzard is at the top of this building here. <coughs> shit. Yeah, it's pretty difficult driving in this camera. Sorry about that. <coughs> oh shit, we hit a police officer. <coughs> it's pretty darn difficult driving in this camera and not hitting anything. Anyways, like I was saying, the buzzard is located at the top of this building here. We'll need to travel about five miles in it, meaning it'll be it'll take about 20 minutes. So by the time we'll get there, it'll probably be dark and it's going to be raining in a few hours as well. I hope you packed your raincoat because we're not turning this car, but we may have hit a car. Here it is, Franklin. The buzzard. Or the lemon copter. Whatever you prefer. What do you think of it, Franklin? Franklin, Franklin, you do know how to get up, right? Frank? No, he's fine. Shotgun driving! Estimated time ahead, 15 minutes. Be prepared, Franklin. We'll never know what is windmills! You can fuck off, Franklin. I'm still driving. Alrighty, Franklin. Here's how it's going to go down. This is going to be a very difficult mission. Probably our hardest yet. Since this is in Blaine County and we've only encountered crimes in Los Santos, it's going to be very different, so handle it differently. Handle it smart, be smart about it. Because we don't know what these people are like. We know they're crazy, and we know they're good with guns. And we know they've got good guns, so let's try to be careful here and let's not go all Rambo style on them. No, no, motherfuckers! Where they at? Where they at? Where y'all hiding? Ah! Yes! Good shooting, Salwood! Off it, off it! Be careful, these guys are smart! Where are they? Where are they? I can't see! I can't see! Ah! Damn it, Salvo, we're taking heavy fire! Oh, they're hiding, goddammit! We're smoking, we're smoking, we're smoking! Fire! Fire! Right here, fire. Oh. Oh. Fucking! 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 Ha <laughs> ha
Time. Officers are blaming the police and others are blaming the faulty design of the buzzard which was supplied to the sidekick Lemon of Lemon Man. The superhero Sour Boy has been tragically killed by the Altruous Cult located my best friend of Lemon Man, sole protector of Los Santos, a true disaster and a Do tragic death. questions being asked and not enough answered. How and why did this happen? And well, funeral service for the absolute determination, courage, and wisdom will be held this Saturday for Sour Boy. On behalf of all members of San Andreas, may you rest in peace, Sour Boy. So, uh, back on topic here. The death of Sour Boy. Thoughts? Well, Greg, as I mentioned before, a terrible tragedy for everyone in San Andreas. But yet, no one has mentioned how this is going to affect Lemon Man. How, how Lemon Man is going to cope with all this. If perhaps he might fight on his own, find a second sidekick, or maybe even take some time off to cope with his grief. Have you ever thought that maybe he might give up altogether? Give up? I'm not sure. I mean, he could for all we know. I mean, no one has seen sight of him since the death of Sour Boy three days ago. Some citizens on the street I've talked to insist he's just taking a break, but some doubters believe he's retiring. I guess we can't really be sure until we hear some words on this topic by Lemon Man himself. That is, if we ever will, if he really is going to give up. I don't know, I just... I, I, I don't know what to do. It's the toughest thing I've ever had to do in my life. Giving up. I, 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 don't, know, I don't know what to do. I, I can't just go back. It's too much. Just the chance of going through that much emotional stress and pain again, I can't take it. And I can't do this on my own. Well, well I, I mean, I can, but that would mean that I would have to devote my life to this. Being Lemon Man and nothing else, not Michael. And I don't know if I'm even capable of doing this after two months. I've seen crimes happen. Right in front of me. Hell, at times I've even seen them being performed on me. And you know what I did? I just let them pass. Nothing else. I even saw a zombie at one point. A zombie! I saw a goddamn zombie. And you know what I did? Nothing! Oh, and it doesn't stop there. I've even seen myself commit a few crimes. What kind of superhero am I? I don't know what to do. If I'm really up for all this stress, I don't know. I didn't know this would what it would be like being a superhero. I guess you just gotta be careful what you wish for. Isn't that right, Consuela? We need more lemon pledge. You you need more lemon pledge? Yes. Right. Okay. I'm kind of busy at the moment. So if I were to give you my money. Could you quickly run down to the store and get some? I... no... no... I have no money. No, if, if I give you my money! No... No! It is not acceptable! I asked for my steak medium round, goddammit! We are not going to be eating that again, yet. Whatever! We go to Burger Shot next time, hear me? Right. Let's see what's on TV. And it has now been two months since the last disappearance of Lemon Man after Sarah Boy's tragic death. Crime rate in San Andreas has now rocketed to an all-time high. So high to the point where the LSPD are unable to handle the crime on their own. And this can be shown throughout all the riots that are going on within the streets of Los Santos as we speak. And also not to mention the Vinewood terrorist attack yesterday. <laughs> where are you, Lemon Man? He's right here, mate. Right here. Hello there, sir. Do you have anything to say on the subject of Lemon Man's disappearance? Hey, Lemon Man. I don't know what the hell is going on right now. If you're giving up or what, whatever. But if you're out there now, watching this, then step it back up, man. 
I know it must be tough right now with Sour Boy and all. I get it. But do you think this is really what Sour Boy would have wanted? You? Just giving up? Do you really think that's what Sour Boy wanted to have died for? Hell no! His death needs to mean something, Lemon Man. You gotta avenge it. Show that he didn't die for nothing. I believe in you, Lemon Man. Look at how he changed us. Changed San Andreas. I believe he can come back from this. I know he can. I believe in you. We believe in you. Lemon Man, you gotta help us. Los Santos, as a team, we are a team, and right now, you ain't being a team player. Sour Boy would have wanted you to continue on, Lemon Man, just like everyone else. You were doing yourself and the whole of Los Santos a favour. Come back soon, Lemon Man. Well, that was, uh, that was uh, quite the speech you got there. <sighs> you sir. Alright then, Juliet, let's take you home. Juliet, there's something I gotta tell you. I'm not like other guys. I'm different. I have a second life that I live outside of Michael. When I'm active in my second life, I use it to protect the citizens of San Andreas, stopping crimes and saving lives. Recently, due to some personal troubles, I haven't been able to go back to that second life. And it's disappeared. And it's been gone for far too long. I have a gift, Juliet. A gift I can use to save lives. There's no game, Juliet. It can backfire in many ways. But no matter what, you've got to keep pushing forward. I have the responsibility, the power, and the gift to save and protect every living soul in this incredible state. I can't just give up now. Not after all I've been through. San Andreas needs me, and I need it. Today marks my comeback. Juliet, I'm Lemon Man. This is it, Franklin. Time to light these motherfuckers up. Good morning Los Santos, what a fantastic way to start off a Sunday with weather like this. Wouldn't you agree James? Go fuck yourself. Well, okay, clear skies everywhere across Los Santos and Plain County, good weather to go with some good news. Our top headline, Lemon Man has returned after a two month disappearance after Sour Boy's tragic death. He came back with a bang as he yet again cleared the gang wars in the south area of Los Santos got rid of all members of the altruist cult and lowering crime rates in San Andreas by 47% in just one day. Sour Boy would be proud, Lemon Man. This calls for a party. Or should I say, a lemon party? Do you honestly think you're fucking funny? That tombstone big enough for you, Franklin? <laughs> the whole state of San Andreas and I really do miss you, Franklin. I managed to get rid of that bastard coat up in the Mount Chiliad. Hope you're proud, mate. I'm just sorry I wasn't able to do it right in the first place. We were unprepared. It was almost as if they knew that there was going to be an attack. I'm sorry, Franklin. But I suppose you're in a better place now, eh? I want to thank you, Franklin. 
You gave your life to this city. You loved it with a passion. And you always will be a true hero to San Andreas as a whole. I'm proud of you, buddy. You take care. Anyways, mate. I gotta go. I'll talk to you later, yeah? See you later, Franklin. I've got a city to protect.